brand new DCE reports about the coming Flash solo movie. This movie's gonna be way different than the comic book Flashpoint film. Let's break it down. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button. Let's get right into this news. Now, this is coming from Heroic Hollywood, and although it does not come directly from Umberto Gonzalez, it's very likely that he gave his stamp of approval to this information. I'm going to read right from the article, and then we'll break down what it means. Title says, Ezra Miller's The Flash won't include Amazon slash Atlantean war. Ezra Miller's The Flash movie will be missing a key Flashpoint storyline. When it was announced that Ezra Miller's The Flash movie would be loosely based on The Flash Flashpoint storyline, fans wondered exactly what that would mean for the Scarlet Speedster's first solo flick. Then it was revealed that a major detail from Flashpoint would be altered for the movie version, as Jeffrey Dean Morgan's Thomas Wayne won't be featured in it. Instead, the Flash will include Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne, with the actor reprising his role as Batman for the first time since 1992. In the Flashpoint comic book arc, Thomas Wayne becomes Batman after Bruce Wayne is the one who dies in crime. Alley. So the movie version is already set to be very different. The changes won't stop there as an insider notes that besides there being no Thomas Wayne slash Flashpoint Batman in the yet to be titled The Flash movie, there will also be no Atlantean slash Amazonian war. With these two key Flashpoint plot points missing from the movie, fans should expect a very different take on the classic storyline. Okay, so pretty wild stuff. Now, again, this is not coming directly from Umberto Gonzalez, but as far as I know, Umberto still runs Heroic Hollywood. It's very likely that whoever wrote this looks like it's Nathaniel Braille. But yeah, it's very likely that he got the okay from Umberto Gonzalez, at least pass some information through Umberto as sort of a lensing or a filtering mechanism. Remember, guys, it was Umberto for the rap that first broke the story about Michael Keaton's Batman being in the Flash movie, about Thomas Wayne not being Batman in the Flash movie. So Umberto has been right on with this stuff so far. Very interesting that there will be no story in so far as Barry's decision to go back and save his mother to prevent her from dying at the hands of the reverse flash will likely be the main plot that drives this alternate version of the story. That was in Umberto's first report. It's going to be an alternate reality in which the Tim Burton's Batman, in which Michael Keaton's Batman 30 years later is dealing with all the craziness that is spinning out of the decision that Barry Allen makes to save his mother. But there's no Thomas Wayne Likely no Aquaman, likely no Wonder Woman. Now, the main reason fans had assumed that Wonder Woman and Aquaman were going to be in the Flashpoint movie is, number one, they do play a significant role in the Flashpoint story from the comics. But another reason people believed this is because Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman and Jason Momoa's Aquaman are two of the most successful franchises to this day over at DC. They're franchises that look to continue past their next sequels. And so it would have just been a match made in heaven. Take your two most popular franchises, put them at odds with against each other in an alternate reality war for the Flashpoint movie sounds great. But again, this being a solo Flash movie, it's likely that they thought this would overshadow Ezra's arc, okay? We already know Cyborg is likely to be in this movie as well, and there will probably be more of a relationship between Cyborg and the Flash in this film than the Flash and even the Batman of Michael Keaton. Now, it is yet to be seen exactly exactly what will happen in the Flash movie and what will happen post the Flash movie. There's a lot of little rumors and things being talked about right now, a Justice League rebirth type of a thing, you know, what's going on in the Snyderverse, what's going on with the Batman, a lot of confusing stuff. We've been talking about this the last couple of weeks, guys, and hopefully answers are coming. We have Justice Con coming soon, and then we have DC Fandom right around the corner from that. I think we will get more of an explanation soon, but I do believe that the Flashpoint movie will set a new status quo, which will see Michael Keaton's Batman be the Bruce Wayne of the DCEU moving forward, likely doing a Batman Beyond movie with Terry McGinnis and some other members of the Bat family. I think that is what they want to do with the mainline DCEU. So I guess what I'm saying is it's still possible we see Jason Momoa's Aquaman and Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. If they are not in the alternate reality that Barry is visiting in the film, they could still be there when he comes back. Perhaps he comes back and we got a new Justice League meeting and everybody's around the table. It's Michael Keaton Batman, it's Gal Gadot Wonder Woman, it's 
Aquaman, Jason Momoa, and they're all acting like things are just always been this way. And Ezra Miller's the one that's going crazy. Like, what do you mean you don't recognize this Batman and this Aquaman together? This has always been the way it's been, Barry. But that's the report, guys. Coming in from Heroic Hollywood, no Amazon and Atlantean war in the Flash movie. I know that's going to bum some people out. I was personally hoping this would happen, but it does make sense. With the new version of Flashpoint they're doing with this film, it's going to be very different, guys. No Thomas Wayne. No Atlantean Amazonian war. It's going to be a very different take on the Flashpoint story. I want to know what you think about this in the comment section below. And now let's shout out Hector Figaro. Yes, indeed, the New Mutants was originally supposed to debut at April 13th of 2018. Number one, I hope I said Hector's last name correctly. Number two, holy crap, that was a freaking while ago. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know, in the year of 2020, how many years old is Michael Keaton? Answer that question in the comment section below. A reminder to all of you nerd vengers out there that tomorrow, Wednesday, July 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're doing another round of the Nerd Card Showdown. You are not going to want to miss that epic trivia contest. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.